Welcome to EduRev. Hi students, welcome to EduRev. My name is Harshmeet Singh and I am your Indian polity teacher. I myself have given two IAS interviews and mentored more than 20,000 students in the past five years. Out of them, more than 20 of my students have achieved under 300 rank in the UPSC Civil Services Examination. In this video, we will be taking up the second part of the preamble to the Indian Constitution. I hope you have watched the first part for your better understanding. Now, most of you would have seen this page of preamble. We discussed it in the last class also and you would have also seen it in your NCRT books. We discussed quite a bit about this. How many discussed kya tha, what is sovereign, democratic, republic, socialist, ये सब कुछ हमने डिस्कस किया था बट स्टिल कुछ और पार्ट्स भी हैं प्रीएम्बल के जो अभी हमने डिस्कस नहीं किए हैं फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू लुक एट द प्रीएम्बल इट आल्सो सेज जस्टिस लिबर्टी इक्वालिटी फ्रेटर्निटी तो ये सब क्या है वी विल गेट इनटू ऑल ऑफ दैट इन टुडेस लेक्चर वन ऑफ द डिबेट्स दैट वी टॉक्ड अबाउट इन द लास्ट क्लास वाज इज प्रीएम्बल अ पार्ट ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन और नॉट प्रीएम्बल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन का पार्ट है कि नहीं I also said that this debate has been answered in two very important Supreme Court judgments. The Berubari case of 1960 and the Keshwan Dabharti case of 1973. Now for the UPSC examination point of view, it is not important for you to know that what was the case in the case. As a UPSC aspirant, the only thing that is important for you is that what was the outcome of the case. But since I want to tell you, कि केस क्या था फॉर योर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस बेरूबरी केस की बात करते हैं सो व्हेन इंडिया गॉट डिवाइडेड इंडिया का पार्टीशन तो पंजाब साइड से हुआ था एंड अनदर पार्टीशन वाज इन बंगाल साइड इफ यू रिमेंबर दो पाकिस्तान बने थे ईस्ट पाकिस्तान वेस्ट पाकिस्तान ईस्ट पाकिस्तान विच यू टूडे कॉल्ड बांग्लादेश नाउ ईस्ट पाकिस्तान साइड पे जब डिवीजन हुआ था द डिवीजन वाज इन अ वेरी पिक्युलर मैनर डिवीजन ऐसे हुआ था कि कहा गया था कि पुलिस स्टेशन विल बी डिवाइडेड सो इंडिया में बंगाल में जो पुलिस स्टेशन है उन्हें डिवाइड कर दिया जाएगा बिटवीन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान जो पुलिस स्टेशन पाकिस्तान में जाएंगे देयर एरिया विल कम अंडर पाकिस्तान जो पुलिस स्टेशन इंडिया में रह जाएंगे देयर इंडिया विल कम अंडर इंडिया नाउ एक पुलिस स्टेशन का नाम किसी भी लिस्ट में नहीं था दैट वॉज अ बेरू बरी पुलिस स्टेशन नाउ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट द प्रॉब्लम स्टार्टेड बिटवीन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान ये बेरू बरी इंडिया में होगा या पाकिस्तान में होगा Obviously, Pakistan wanted Berubari to be on their side. India being the bigger brother, we will divide Berubari half and half. So, Nehru decided, he gave an executive order and said that half of Berubari will be given to Pakistan. This was a Berubari case. Supreme Court was asked this question, can the government give away any area? If the government has a mind, then what is the area? Can we give an order sign? Can we give to some other nation? This was a Berubari case. Supreme Court said, no, you cannot give any area to some other nation unless the constitution is amended. So parliament ko kaha gaya, constitution amend karenge, then you can give half of Berubari, otherwise you cannot. And that is why the constitution was amended. Now Supreme Court, when it gives a judgment, to usme kheal ek ya do lines nahi aati hai. These are humongous judgment, unpe bhoat bade bade journals likhe jate hai. And in this Berubari case, the Supreme Court said preamble is not a part of the constitution. Ye bhi kaha gaya tha. It is not a part of constitution means it is not justiciable and it cannot be amended. Amend nahi kar sakte aap usko. Jaisa hai, wo waisa hi rahega. Then came a very, very interesting and not just interesting but a landmark case in the history of India that was a Keshwananda Bharti case of 1973. This is Shri Keshwananda Bharti. Unfortunately, just passed away uh, a few weeks earlier. The Keshwananda Bharti case of 1973 was heard for the first time ever by 13 judges together in the Supreme Court. A 13 judge bench heard the case. They said preamble is a part of the constitution and it can be amended. Now there is a long story about the case on the Bharti case. Without getting into the entire story, I'd just like to tell you. The actual case was this case on the Bharti. He was a priest in a temple in Kerala. And his property of the temple was taken away by the government of Kerala. And he went to the court under Article 26. Article 26 
gives you the freedom to manage your own religious affairs. So he gave, went to the court against that. Although he lost the case, the case was uh, decided against him. But in this case, the court gave the monumental basic structure doctrine and also said preamble is a part of the constitution and thus it can be amended. This is what the present status is. That preamble is a part of the constitution, full stop. So remember that part. We had discussed the fact that because of Keshwan the Bharti case, government was said that yes, you can amend the preamble. As long as you don't change the basic structure of the constitution. And that is why the Indira Gandhi government changed the preamble. Only once in India's history has the preamble been amended. That was by 42nd Amendment Act 1976. Three new words were added. These words were socialist, secular and integrity. Extremely important for you to remember. 42nd Amendment in fact was called the mini constitution of India because of so many changes being introduced. It was not just the preamble. But even apart from the preamble, there were so many changes introduced. For example, subjects were transferred from state list to the concurrent list. Lok Sabha's tenure permanently was increased from 5 years to 6 years. High Court judicial review power was taken away. Fundamental duties were inserted and so on and so forth. A lot of changes were made by 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act. Amongst those related to, related to the preamble, this was the change.